Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to talk about one of the What's New features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018. Using the Plan Production Tools to create Plan Plan and Profile Profile Sheets. Inside of Civil 3D 2018, we have enhanced the Plan Production Tools to be able to create Plan Plan View Sheets and Profile Profile View Sheets. In the past, we've been able to create plan and profile sheets, but this has been something that folks have been asking for for a long time. So let me show you that real quick. They've actually modified the templates uh, that are included with Civil 3D 2018 to be able to use this functionality. So I'm going to create some plan plan views of this road right here, road C, and I'll do a profile profile view just so you can see the functionality. So I'm gonna go up to my output tab and select create view frames. So I'll select the correct alignment. All right, this is no different than creating plan and profile sheets. It's just that we're gonna have a setting that we need to select. So we need to select now either profile plans only or profiles only. So you can see there's more than one option here now. So I wanna use plans only. All right, and the template I'm going to use for this is just a 20 scale template. These are all out of the box, by the way. I can hit next and next, and I can just leave all of this default and hit create view frames, and my view frames are created. Now, I'm simply going to go up and select create sheets. I will tell it that I want to use my entire view frame range. All right, and I've only got the one view frame group in here right now. And I'll just put all the layouts in this drawing just so we can see them after they're built. I'll hit next. I'll tell it to create a new sheet set, and I'll hit Create Sheets. It will save the drawing, and then it will create my plan plan sheets for me. All right, once that's generated, I can go ahead and select my sheet. And as you can see, before we select our sheet, I've got one, two, three, four different view frames. Well, if I go ahead and select the first sheet that it created, you can see that it's actually added two of the view frames to one page. So I, I start here at zero and go to around five to 600, and then it picks up again. So the viewports work much the same as they did with uh, creating plan and profile sheets. So you can, you can add to this template to bring in more information that you, that you wanna bring in automatically. I'll show you the second sheet, and it gives us the rest of our alignment to the end. All right now, let's go back and create a profile profile sheet, all right? So we're gonna create some new view frames. All right, and again, this was road C that I used. And I'm gonna tell it that I wanted to create profiles only sheets. So I wanna be sure that I select the correct scale for my profile, so 50 scale is my profile. And I can go through and just leave all of this default. Hit create view frames. And then you can see that it added two additional view frames. Now they're larger than they were for my plan view because it was a 20 scale for my plan view and I'm at 50 scale for my profile. So I can select create sheets. Be sure that I select the correct view frame group and I'll go ahead and tell it next and I'll just add that to the existing. Actually, I'll go ahead and leave a new sheet set. Why not? And I can add my additional settings for profile like I did, like I could in the past in using the plan of profile template. I'm gonna leave this default and just select create sheets. And I'll stick my profiles here. It will save my drawing and create those sheets. All right, you can see it broke up my profiles here. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the sheet that it built. I'll go ahead and select sheet 12. And you can see here that it created a profile profile sheet. Now that's got a short profile here, so there's a little overlap. So we can grab that viewport and we can start to shrink it down. And now we see profile profile. So great functionality that they've added, being and given us a lot of a lot of leeway on how we can create our sheets. And again, this is something that folks have been asking for for quite some time, being able to create um, automatically with the plan production tools, a plan plan view sheet or a profile profile view sheet. Now we can still create a plan and profile sheet just like we could before in the previous functionality. 
I hope that the information in this video has helped you to understand one of the new features inside of Civil 3D 2018. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.